Shalom, <clears throat> all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Racha Kodash, double honors to the elder apostles and the elders at Great Millstone GMS. Peace and blessings to the elect. This is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. And this is the book of St. Mark, chapter 1, and verse 15. It says, The time is fulfilled. Salakia. And saying, The time is fulfilled. And this is red letter, so this is the Lord speaking. And the kingdom of the heavenly father is at hand. Okay. And the time is fulfilled. Okay. And the kingdom of the heavenly father is at hand. Okay. The kingdom is 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 right around the corner, man. Okay. Like the scriptures say, for now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. Okay. Because it's a wrap, man. Okay. This word is gone out. All right. <clears throat> and then the next what it says after that is repent ye okay repent okay because that's what we're doing we're teaching we're, we're preaching repentance okay but we know that two-thirds of our people won't come to repentance okay so it's only for those that are going to feel be sorry okay for their wrongs okay and ask the Heavenly Father for forgiveness and do their best, okay, to get on that 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 narrow path, okay? That that uh that are gonna go through that straight gate, okay, that position of difficulty, okay, because as the scripture says, uh broad is the way that leads to destruction, okay, and that's all the other uh all the other ways that people, you know, would rather go, okay? Nobody wants, the, the majority of the people in this world do not want to go through the position of difficulty, okay? They don't want to go through that straight gate. It's a gate of discipline. It's a gate of obedience. It's a gate of uh, fear, okay? It's a gate of... uh controlling your flesh okay denying your flesh you know as the scripture says mortify your members deaden those those lusts of the flesh okay mortify your members and then the majority of the people don't want to do that because they want to live in pleasure okay they want to pleasure the flesh, okay? They have no, the majority of the people have no self-discipline, okay? And don't want to get right, okay? It says, repent ye and believe the gospel, okay? Now, let me grab a scripture. Earl can... Not receive. I think that should bring it up. This is St. John 14 and 17. Even the spirit of truth, okay, which is what we're preaching, okay, whom the world cannot receive, okay? And this is red letter. So again, we see this is the Lord speaking. Even the spirit of truth, okay, that's what we're preaching, the truth. Okay, we're preaching the gospel. Okay, the good news. All right, this wicked kingdom is about to be destroyed. Okay, repent, get right with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you Israelites. Okay, that's what we're preaching. Okay, but it's saying here in St. John 14 and 17. <clears throat> Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him, but ye know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. You see, matter of fact, let me pull up that whole. Um, yep. Yep. We're going to have to go up a little bit. All right. 
Uh, oh, yeah. The, verse 12, they don't believe that. Okay. Um. Matter of fact, I started 12. This is St. John 14 and 12. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, okay, and the majority of people do not believe on the Lord, okay, the works that I do, okay, shall he do also, and greater works than these, okay, shall he do okay the majority of the people don't believe that man okay they don't believe that they don't believe first they they don't believe that <clears throat> they'll have because this is talking about having spiritual power okay and to the majority of the people of the world that's a fairy tale okay that's a fairy tale and the lord is sitting here saying Matter of fact, let me read one more time, St. John 14 and 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, okay? And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, the majority of people do not know. They can't even retain the name, Okay? You could sit there and say it all day long and it don't even mean nothing to them. Okay? You got scoffers, these scoffers that make fun of the name. You got guys that are Israelites that shun the name. Okay? They don't want to call on the name. Okay? So you even got Israelites that don't believe on the Lord. Okay? It says, verse St. John 14 and 13. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Okay? If ye love me, check it out. Keep my commandments. The majority of the... I start with these so-called Christians. These wacky tacky Christians that follow this plantation Christianity. The, one of their main arguments is that the law is done away with. Well, here it is. The Lord is saying, if you love me, keep my commandments. So the majority of, I mean, we, like I said, they don't even love the Lord. Okay. Do you think that the Lord ate pork? Do you think that the Lord was shaving? Okay. You think he was, he was, you know, lining up, lining up his face and his head and shaving? No. They won't even keep the simple laws that, the, the laws that are, that are so super easy to keep. The dietary law. Okay. They won't even keep that. All right. So they don't love the Lord. OK. Let me read it again. St. John 14 and uh, 15. It says, if you love me, keep my commandments. OK. So they don't love the Lord. Verse 16 says, and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that ye may be abide, that he may abide with you forever even the spirit of truth, okay, whom the world cannot receive. You see there? The world can't get it, man. Okay? This is only for the elect. Period. Period, point blank. The Lord says that, okay? For mine elect's sake. And I'll get that. Let me finish this. All right? Because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Okay. Let's get that scripture. What I just uh what was it? Uh even the spirit. Salakia. Um 
Oh, I lost my train of thought, but that's okay. Um, the elect's sake. Yep, the spirit gave it right back to me. Elect. Come on now. What's going on? Elect. And let's just put sake. It should pull it up. All right. Yes. Say and again, red letter. Okay. This is Saint Matthew twenty four and twenty two, and except those days should be shortened. What days? Okay, the days that we're in, these end days. Okay, and as we see, is time is, man. It is man. This year is almost over. Twenty twenty is almost over. Okay, it's October, man. Okay. This year is almost over. It's, it was like, and so much happened in this year is, is, un, is, man, this truly was a year of, 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 of prophecy, man. Okay. It started off with a bang. It's still banging and booming. Okay. COVID-19 ain't went nowhere. They coming with this Operation Warp Speed. Okay. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Okay? It's time for our people to repent. Okay? And we know, of course, again, because that's what we're going into, only the elect, man. Okay? Because the world can't receive this truth. St. Matthew chapter 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake... Those days shall be shortened because it's for the, the sake of the elect. All right. Matter of fact, let me go back and see what else came up. Okay. Um, yep. Yep. Um, Romans 11 and 28 as concerning the gospel. They are enemies for your sakes, but as but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. Okay. Um Second Timothy two and ten. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sakes. Okay. That they may also obtain the salvation, okay, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shah with eternal glory. Okay? This is for the elect, man. Okay? And again, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man, which is probably what the title of this, this lesson will be. Okay? We see all of these signs, all of these things happening. Chariots are, are showing themselves. Okay? We know that the mark of the beast is here. The whole system is set up. It's, it's ready to go. It's primed and ready to go. And these people are right for the plucking. Okay? We see this thing just playing out. Alright? While everybody else is worrying about uh, Breonna Taylor and uh, Black Lives Matter and who's going to get voted in Trump and Biden and all the rest of these distractions that are going on while this place is sinking you know this place is going down the tube sinking you on that we on this ship watching you know it's going underwater and these people are sitting there watching uh cartoons man okay they're caught by the distractions all right and this devil know just what to do man he's been planning this out since jump street man okay since he came back into power. Alright. He knows exactly what he's doing. And it, his formula. Once he perfected the formula. He just keeps using the same formula over and over. It, it works every time. Okay. He's got you people distracted. He's got these people distracted rather. Okay. While he's pulling all these, up, these moves. Okay. And this place is going down the tubes man. Okay. Um, 
And that's pretty much it, man. I just had wanted to get a lesson in this morning. You know, I just got off the J, you know. Um, and Lord willing, it was edifying, man. Hey, we finna get the hell up out of here, okay? And good riddance to this place, man. This place is, this, this is a horrible existence, man, okay? But we find comfort, like the scripture said, the Lord wouldn't leave us comfortless. We, we find comfort in this word knowing that Yahweh Shah already got the victory. And all we doing is, is watching it play out. And we seeing that we at, we at the end because we got the understanding, man. Okay? All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Bashem Rechakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders at Great Millstone GM, GMS. All right? Um. And peace and blessings to the elect. All right. It's on to the next one. Till then, I say shalom.